So we have two windows. On one side we're logged in as John Travolta visiting Nicolas Cage's profile. While on the other side we're logged in as Nicolas Cage visiting Travolta's profile. A few screencasts ago we worked on this like-unlike functionality. It works, but ideally it should notify the authors whenever one of their tweets was liked. Currently we're just displaying a hard-coded badge count. So ideally these should be real notifications and this badge should show the unread notification count. So let's start working on that. The first thing we need to do is set up our database notifications so we have a place, a table where to store our notifications. So if we go to database notifications, we can execute this artisan command that will create a migration file for us to create a notifications table. So PHP artisan migrate. And if we refresh the database, we now have this notifications table where we can store our notifications. And then we can go back and make a new notification using PHP artisan make notification liked tweet notification. This will create a representation of our notification under app notifications directory. And this should receive the tweet that was liked and the user that liked that tweet. And we should initialize these properties. And then the next step is to set the notification delivery channels. By default, this one is set by mail. So you could use a notification to send a mail notification or we can just do database. This will tell Laravel to save this notification in the database. And then here we can define the mail representation of the notification, but we don't have this channel, so we can just ignore it. And here we have the array representation which we do care about, and here we need to add the user and the tweet. Whatever we set here will be saved in the data column in the notifications table. The next step is to go into the light tweets controller and check whether the tweet was liked, and if so, send the light tweet notification. We can do that by storing the result of this toggle method and counting whether the result has attached any new records to our tweet likes or like tweets table. And if so, we need to grab the author of the tweet and send him a notification using the notify method. Then we need to create a like tweet notification that receives the tweet and the authenticated user. Now if we go in the browser and light a few tweets and then go to the database, these will appear in our database and we'll have the tweet and the user. Actually, if we go back, we can see that we have a red at column that is used to mark or unmark the notification as being read. So our next step is to count the unread notifications and display them in our menu under this badge. To do that, we need to share the unread notifications count with inertia do that, we need to create an inertia middleware, and we can do that by executing php artisan inertia middleware. And this will create a middleware. If we go to our middleware directory, we have this handle inertia requests. And here we can define the props that are shared by default. And we need to have unread notifications count and to get the notifications we can do request of user and if we look here 
we have an unread notifications relationship on the user. So we can use this one and just call count. The next step is of course to apply this middleware to our web routes. So we can do it here and import the file. And now if we go to our Twitter app here and open up the view dev tools, we can see that we indeed share the unread notifications count, which is zero for Nicholas, but it should be free for John here. But sadly, view dev tools don't work in incognito windows. Nevertheless, let's go and modify the template to display the actual notifications number. So here in my app in layout, we have this count here. We can do page props unread notifications count. And if we refresh now, here John Travolta has three notifications and Nicholas doesn't have any. Let's like some tweets though. Next up, it would be nice to have a page where we can see our notifications. So let's add a new route. Let's call it notifications. And we'll have a user notifications controller that we'll call the index method. Let's create the controller. Make controller. Import it in the web route file and add the index method. Here we need to return an inertia page component. So we'll do return inertia render notifications and we'll pass in an array with notifications of the auth user, which is a currently authenticated user notifications paginate and we could even order them in descending order so latest and now we need to create a notifications page view component so we'll go pages mm, where is it user tweets we'll make a copy of this one remove everything we don't like here. So let's see. And remove this one. Instead of tweets, we'll have notifications. Let's remove this part. Okay, user profile, this notifications. This is the paginated part with the infinite scroll. I can keep this part as well. Let's see at least if it works. First, let's add the menu item. So this will be Refresh the page, and go here, we get an error, which is cannot read property data of undefined. Okay. Notifications, mm. we need to accept the props. Now, cannot read property undefined. 
Okay, where is this? Notifications data, what do we get? Get notifications data, we do get notifications. So what's wrong? Oh, it's a typo. Of course it is. And I don't think... Yeah, we need to change this to user notifications. Because we cannot have data and prop with the same name. So we'll do this. And here as well. Refresh. And this is working. So these are the IDs of the, of the notifications. Of course, in an ideal world, we'll have the tweet content, the username, and so on. But that's not the point of the video. Okay. Next up, it would be nice if we mark the notifications as being read once we visit the endpoint. So let me close some of these and go to notifications controller. And once we hit the endpoint, we can even mark all the notifications as red. And I think we even have a method for that. But let me check. Mark as red. Okay, but I want to mark all as red. Can I? Can't I just do that? Oh, I can do this. So auth user are red notifications marked as red and if we let's say we go back we go forward the red notifications count has been reset if we do some of these it's back and it's gone let's actually go back and display some proper notifications. I have some info and styling in my clipboard. So I'm just going to paste this here. Go back and refresh. And yes, something like this. More or less. Let me make sure I have all the information I need. So Refresh. Yeah, that's about it. So we can even visit Nicholas' profile from here. Another thing I forgot to do is make the infinite scroll work. So we need to do something similar to user tweets controller. So we need this part with request once JSON. So if request once JSON we return the notifications. Otherwise we return an inertia component. This should still work, and it does. So there you have it. These are database notifications with Laravel. It would be nice if these will come as the user browses the website. But that will be covered in a future video, where we'll use Pusher to send real-time notifications. So as the user scrolls the page, and some other user likes his tweet, the notification bubble will pop up here. So you don't actually need to visit other pages to actually get the notification. But that's for the next video. Bye.